G'day chaps and welcome back. We're now at episode 5. And yeah, this is going to be the last one I play today. I'm playing in one session at the moment. So I don't know if there'll be any more after this. It completely depends on your feedback. If you, if enough people have shared this and the views are pretty good, then I'll continue the series and we'll try and get to the top of uh, Timberwolf Mountain. Otherwise, I reckon I will post uh, other content, content about other games, and uh, we take it from there. We'll see. We'll see what comes. Um, yeah, so it completely depends on you guys. Where are we up to? If you've had a little break since you uh, last watched this, we are now in the kind of forest area on Timberwolf Mountain. I came here to check the containers were here, that were here. I was looking for... Um, medical supplies and flares uh, and food and I've found all of those things so yeah we're in a really good place now we've got enough flares um, all we need to do basically is get back to the cave we have plenty of daylight we're not too cold um, yeah so we don't need to worry too much about the wolves now there's just the, the, there's just a bear we need to really be concerned about Around us right now, there are three wolves and one bear. And the bear is coming back in our direction. And the three wolves are kind of off. You know, you've got the screen blurred out now, off to the right. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to skirt around to the right and try and flank the bear and then make our way back up to the cave. When we get to the cave, um, I'll basically just sort our stuff out and then directly start attacking the mountain basically uh, it's going to take us that long to get up there we're going to start while we still have uh, some kind of daylight um, but yeah the short answer is we've got enough stuff now that we can actually start we've we've covered all our basics so we can start heading up the mountain okay enough blabber from me i'm going to get straight on with it um, in this very tense, tense situation. Let's find our bearings first. Feels like a lot of gear. Yeah, I know you're heavy. We're up to 40 kilos, just over 40 kilos. This is a lot. So the, there's a wolf off to our left. I thought the bear was ahead of us. Because I'm not sure, I'm going to head up to the hill. I thought I had the bear inside. Oh, there's a wolf kind of off to our left, walking towards us. So, um, oh, I can see the bear up ahead now. Yes, so, very tense situation that was. And the fact that we managed to just dart down like that and grab that stuff without any of them noticing is very, very good for us. So there's a wolf heading in our direction, so I'm going to keep moving up this hill here. I really want to get an eye on that bear too. Let's have a look. Okay, so he's moving away from us. He's moving away from us. Okay. I think we're okay right where we stand. Basically. Just keeping an eye on that bear. While I collect this stuff. I know there was a wolf off to our left, but I don't think he was on a direct trajectory with us. Maybe let's just check, have a little look. Make sure we're okay on both sides. Where is that wolf? Can't see him. Okay, there's one walking away. I think that may be the same one. Either way, that's not the direction we need to go, so... We need to go where the bear is. So we're just basically going to follow the bear very, very slowly. We're getting cold, but actually not too quickly anymore. It's two, minus two degrees. This for us is like a summer breeze. Compared to how we started. Right, let's get. I think we can get a bit closer up here. I'm just gonna 
come up to the top of this rock so we've got an eye on the bear and I'm going to crouch down so that there's no chance he'll um, pick up our scent or whatever if you don't know the uh, the long dark, if you're crouched animals, there's a smaller chance of animals um, noticing you okay, we're, it's kind of a good time to um, probably not a bad time just to start a quick fire and warm up a bit Let's do that. I don't know if that's going to help against animals or not. We're not that cold. Really just waiting to see where the bear goes. Now, as I remember, the bear's cave is on my right hand side, basically right at the top of the flare, where I'm holding the flare right now, there's the entrance to the bear cave. So I'm pretty sure that's where he's going. Actually, I'm very sure. So that means we can move. As long as we stay far enough away, there's a wolf up ahead. Don't know if you saw that. But he's a little he's a little way off here. I really shouldn't pick these sticks up, I should just go. I'm being greedy. And we're actually too heavy. Let's just go. I can see a sapling way up ahead, but I can I'm just oh, where's the bear? I'm just gonna ignore it. Obviously, this is kind of a tense situation. The bear off to our right, just about far enough. Just wondering, will any of these wolves pick up our scent? If they, if none of them do, oh, we've had a bit of a lucky run through here. We've managed to grab everything, and make it out without a single animal noticing us at all, um, which just adds even more luck to our. Kind of ridiculous run so far. We've had. Um, I don't know if you watched the last episode or if it's a, a long time since you watched it, but um, I made the, the the dumbest mistake imaginable, and I left my bedroll in the cave and went out without it. Just forgot, and um, completely by chance we found a bedroll in the cave we went to. And um, yeah, we didn't die. It's that simple. And it was it was completely a mistake on my part. I admit it. I I I screwed up. But yeah, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm just saying this is uh, it's been quite a lucky series. And that run through there, um, yeah, we came out of that very nicely indeed. We haven't even used our one flare yet. We've had um, episode 2, was it, or episode 3? We had that one run-in with a uh, wolf and we managed to scare him off using just a torch, just a normal torch. So here we are back at the uh, lake. I'm going to try and get down this hill without hurting my ankle. It's very steep. Probably don't need this flare out right now. Let's put that down so we can concentrate. Um, it's still not that cold, so we might head into the uh, fishing hut, just warm up. That should give us a little... Oh, there's a wolf. Let's get our flares back out again. He was closer than I thought. He's come up real quick. Really quick. For all you Brits, I apologise for talking America. For all you Americans, <laughs> You've made me talk like this. I didn't used to talk like this. My accent has changed over the years. It's crazy. And I'm the last person who expected it. I have a weird mixture of British and... I had American mates in Taiwan and I had to teach. Uh, I was a teacher at the time. An English language teacher. And um, in Taiwan they, they want to learn American English because of their history and whatnot. Um, and that means that I needed to learn how to speak in a more American way. So using the vocabulary and the syntax and um, even some of the grammar sometimes um, and adapt my speech to what I was expected to teach people. Yeah, it was um, 
quite a crazy situation. Um, I had taught in Germany before that. Same thing, English to um, business people. And yeah, it, in Germany they, um, I guess because of their history, certainly in the area I was, which is around Cologne, they want to learn British English. So I don't know if that's because that part of Germany was the British zone, or that's just a thing with all of Germany. But that's that's how it was. So um, yeah, it was kind of natural. That was one of the reasons I was hired. I think because I was English. And then, um, yeah, moved to Taiwan, and I lived there six years, long time. So, um, yeah, it affected my my language. It's crazy. And now I'm in Australia, and of course my my little um, the thing I say on this channel is g'day chaps, and that's that's just a play on words. That's just a play on my own uh, history and background. So I'm kind of entertaining myself when I say that as much as anything. I wanted to come up with a little, I don't know what you call it, a thing for the channel, a little greeting. But yeah, I guess that explains the whole thing of why that exists and why it is what it is. It's because of all my teaching and where I've lived around the world. I'm kind of just playing on the fact that uh, different accents really. Oh, that bear's coming back. Do you see that? Yes, he comes this direction. So I'm not going to bother with any more of these cattails. We've got enough food. I'm not actually going to be able to carry all this stuff back at the road. So um, Yeah, we need to move. The wind's also picking up. So this is the last one. Let's head back to the road. Let's get our flare out. We're getting colder, but there's a storm coming. And I really don't want to get trapped in that um, anyway there. So we still so six hours of daylight. A bear on the way, which we want to avoid, and the weather's picking up. So it's time to just adapt to the situation. So we're immediately going home. I was originally planning to um, collect all the cattails there and then warm up in the uh, fisherman's cabin. But the weather turned. And the bear's there, so we're not going to do that. We're going to head straight home, which is just as good. Um, I'm not going to collect those because we have medicine and I don't know where the wolf is. So we're just going to keep moving as fast as we can without tiring ourselves out. What's that? No. Okay. Still no sign of the wolf, which is kind of a good thing. I think our condition's still 100% right now. Yep. And we're, I think we're okay to get back to uh, home. Get back home. Still in the sound of the wolf. This is good. So, I think we're back to the rope now. And then I'm going to rationalize my weight. going to get everything under, under 40 kilos. That's the limit. For getting up a rope, there she is. I might do this in two chunks, just, I don't know, just for the safety. So we've got 42 kilos, let's drop the stuff that... It's four. I've got 5.7 kilos of sticks. That would do it. So let's drop, I don't know, let's drop that much. 38 kilos, okay, let's pick up. I'm efficient, there's one more. Yeah, we're just under 40. Okay, that'll do. There's the wolf. Let's go. One more. One more for the road. Um, yeah, let's do it. We don't have that coffee anymore. This is when I would drink that coffee, but yeah. Oh well. This shouldn't be a problem. If I can do it in one go, I will do. It's looking pretty good, actually. So I'm going to ignore the ledge just because it was pretty clear we wouldn't need it. That should be the only climb we have to do for today. So that's cool. Makes life easy. Just get that flare back out. 
There's the wolf, you see him? Up ahead. Oh, he just changed direction. Excellent, excellent. We got lucky. Okay. Overall, I think apart from that massive screw up with the uh, bedroll, I think we've played it alright. I think we've played it okay so far. We've avoided any any interactions with anything more dangerous than us. Um, we've just kind of laid a decent foundation now. We we can survive pretty much indefinitely, um, which means we can start getting ambitious. And we're going to take on the mountain next. And if this was a TV show, this is where we would add our commercial break. <laughs> Maybe I am going mad sitting here by myself for what, three hours <laughs> in a row playing the long dark. Wow, look at that. Bits of pink, yellow. That'd be a great video cover, actually. It's a bit, bit, bit actionless, I suppose. Normally for video covers, people tend to, and it seems to be the right thing to do, to get get something noticeable. See, I could have a, view, a beautiful view like that, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to make a great, um, a great cover on YouTube at all. You really want something that's going to draw people's interest. Excuse me, I'm just having a little drink. Yeah, I'm gonna. I really want to squeeze in one more video today. It's uh, Sunday. It's five o'clock now. Uh, so my wife's been really patient, and she's she's just been okay with uh, me playing and making videos most of the day, producing, editing, uh, processing, uploading, planning the next ones, downloading the software I need. The software takes a long time because I'm on a new machine. So I just I just don't have the tools. So every time I want to do something and I can't do it, I have to go and find the tool. Download it. Get it working. And getting stuff working can take a long time. And then you've got the settings. Like um, when I started this series, DX Story didn't have the right seri uh, settings. I mean, there's so much that goes into just setting up a new PC. So really doesn't make me want to <laughs> I really don't want to um, swap out the motherboard in this thing I just can't be bothered I've kind of had enough of working on this machine but um, I know I, I know it has to be done so the sooner I can do it the better it kind of gets a, a crappy job out of the way um, and it also means I can boost the uh, hardware on this thing I can boost the CPU um, I think it, I think as far as I'm aware, it should help with overclocking the... Oh no, 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 sorry, the graphics card comes overclocked already, so that's nothing to do with the motherboard. As, as many of you know, I'm not the, uh, I'm not a professional PC builder, believe it or not. I'm one of those people who learns when they see a value in learning, not just for the sake of, you know, stuff. I like, I like, I'm quite, I'm quite um, strict with how I use my time, so, you know, if it's a, a, a choice between learning something that I might never need, or, you know, this is aside from interest, if I, I read a lot of historical fiction just because I'm interested in it, so I don't mean that. I mean, um, skills, you know, or knowledge, um, I'm quite a practical person, I suppose you could just say. There's my bloody bedroll, you dumb bastard. Right, so the only thing we need from here... Do we pick up clothes then? No, we didn't. Um, we don't need any of that clothing. I'll take the bedroll because we'll... Um, Oh, no. We'll take all this food. Food's more important. Food and water. Let's just check the condition of this thing. 
Uh, oh, I have to pick it up first, okay. If I drop the one that's in worse condition, just leave it. Doesn't matter. Pick all this up and let's see where our weight is at. Okay. Oof, nearly 50 kilos. Can we move? Just about move. So I reckon I'm probably going to cut this for you because this is kind of boring. And then um, I'm going to pick this up at the other side of the uh, tunnel. Yep. Okay, now here we are. We've uh, I've gone to the other side of the tunnel and I have also rationalized all my stuff. So um, I've got rid of absolutely everything that wasn't completely essential for uh, climbing Timberwolf Mountain and I've dropped absolutely everything else. So I've taken all the food that's high in calories, I've taken just enough medicine, um, just enough fuel and I've sharpened uh, the hatchet and the knife and yeah, uh, I dropped everything that I, I don't need. I've even felt, let me just show you. Um, I'm telling you all this basically because I've decided that I'm going to go and you see what time it is is it's 5 30 p.m. and it's a Sunday and I've got to work tomorrow so um, I've only got about an hour left in terms of how much time I can dedicate to uh, playing games and making videos today so um, as this is kind of a, a nice point to stop it's just before we begin the ascent of Timberwolf Mountain. I'm showing you the stuff I'm going to take up with me here. Um, I would really like to continue this series, however I'm just going to pause this one because I want to see what your feedback is like and if you want me to continue with this series you're going to have to jump on the uh, comments and, and let me know that you love it and you want to continue and um, I'm going to want to see some, some views on this so if you can help me out somehow Maybe share it on Twitter or something. Or tell your mates. Um, yeah, I'd love to see at least a few hundred views on this video. And then um, I'll continue with the series. Otherwise, you know, I've got to go. So many people also voted for Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous and uh, Attila and all the other games on that list. That um, I'm going to go and cover Homeworld Deserts of Carrick right now. Because... Um, I asked, and they gave me a, um, a free copy. So, as we've only got an hour, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So, um, let's just show you. I'll show you what state I'm in. What I've done here, because I know if you're still watching it here at episode five, at the end of episode five, you're hardcore. You love the long dark, and you're really enjoying this series. So, I'm gonna show you everything. Just taking the lightest possible tinder we can get. Also, cedar firewood. This isn't too heavy, but it it's not bad in terms of wood. We haven't got any fir firewood. I'm going to take all four of our accelerants. We've repaired our bedrolls 100%. We have five flares. Hacksaw's not too good, but we should find another. We can't repair that. I've sharpened both the hatchet and the knife. I've taken a little bit of fuel. I've dropped another piece. Another can, rather. Um, taking the rope so that hopefully it will be quicker and easier to get back down. Now I know what's up there and I know how to get back down. We're going to actually use that taking this in case we find a rifle. Uh, so in kit hopefully we find another already filled the storm lantern to the brim. Four flares, so that means hopefully we shouldn't need to. Uh, torches, sorry. I'm taking the worst condition matches that we have. We shouldn't need any more than that. Um, food, I'm taking the, these two to eat soon. So they're really bad condition, so I'm just going to eat them quick. I've dropped a ton of stuff that's relatively heavy, but really good condition. And then I'm just taking the lightest stuff with me. So it's all dried food and canned drinks and just loads of calories with not much weight. I'm taking hardly any water because we can make that. Repaired our clothes pretty much as much as we can. Five bandages, just enough antiseptic, uh, antibiotics, painkillers. We've also brewed up a little natural medicine. And that's it. That's all we're taking. That's all we need. So this ascent is as good as, should be as good as any we've ever done before. And I have done this before. I've got to the, I know what's coming now. So, yeah, this shouldn't be too impossible. 
Right, boys, I'm going to wait for your feedback and I'm going to see whether we continue this. I'm going to just stop it and save it at this exact point. And if you want to see the series continue, you shout out, you let me know, you tweet it, put it in the comments, and yeah, I'll decide then. Ciao for now, boys.